Okay, so in the last video, I gave a really quick introduction to Echo and why I've chosen to use it for this course. And I introduced you to the project we're going to make, which is a ball essentially rolling down two rectangles. So let's go ahead and put some code together. All the codes that I'm going to use for this video is going to be on GitHub. I'm going to put the link for this repository in the description. So if you get stuck at any point, feel free to jump onto there and look at the code. Now to start this project off, I have got my own custom hacks flexible template, which is I'm going to use and you're welcome to use this as well. But of course you can use the default hacks flexible template. If you do go ahead and use my template, I would really love as much feedback as possible as I want more and more people to use this. This is quite Mac specific. So people who use Windows, I would love to get your feedback in particular. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead back to this repo, go into assets, images, and grab all these images and place them in the relevant folder. Now I've already done most of this and have a basic project running here. All it says is hello world and the version from the package.json file. So let's go ahead and add some shapes. Let's go into VS code and first comment out all this version code because we don't need it. And this line too. So when we run the code, we should just see a black screen. Now let's go ahead and add our objects. If you are using my template, you're going to have these folder structures. If you're not, you're going to have your own. So please ignore this folder structure. Just create a level anywhere. In my case, I'm going to create it in the levels folder. And I'll just call it level one. This will extend the game states class. And we'll have a create function with a super create. Now we're going to change the background color to white and we're going to add our red circle as a sprite. Let's test our game. In our main HX folder, go ahead and change whatever this is to level one. Please make sure to use the red underscore circle PNG and not the red underscore circle underscore spots PNG. And now we should just have a white background with a red circle. Now let's go ahead and add our rectangles the code for the rectangles is exactly the same. The only difference is the position of the sprites. So now this is what our scene looks like. A circle and two rectangles without any physics applied. Now let's install Echo. We're going to be using Echo Flixel and to install it, you need to install this repository. So Echo Flixel using Hackslip, then install Echo. My template uses a package manager called Lix, which has many benefits. I talk about licks in a previous video and I'll have a link to that video in the description. But just note, I'm not going to use these commands. I'm going to use a completely different one. I'm going to write the command licks install gh colon austin east slash echo flexel. As you can see, licks will install all the dependencies for me. This is one of the many benefits of licks. You can see in our code, it has the dependencies installed and keeps a version of the dependencies. Next, we need to go into our project XML folder and add Echo Flixel to it. And that's it. Echo is installed onto our project. Let's go ahead and use it. We're going to import Flixel Echo as a static extension. If you don't know anything about static extensions in Hacks, I'll have a link to a video I made previously about that in the description. Now we're going to use Echo to add gravity to our whole scene. This will initialize echo on the width and the height of our whole scene, and it's gonna add gravity to the y-axis. The figure 981 matches the gravitational pull of the Earth, which is 9.81 meters per second. But of course, it can be any number you want. Let's add a physics body to our objects. By adding a body without any parameters to our red circle, this will apply the default echo parameters. By default, echo will give a sprite a rectangular collision with the width and the height of the sprite itself. Whenever you give a sprite a mass of zero, it means that it won't move if it collides with another object. Now, if we go back to our scene, you'll see that our red circle just falls to the ground without hitting any of our rectangles. This is because we haven't added any listeners. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
I've added two listeners to our scene for the red circle to listen to both of our rectangles. Now that we've done that, our circle will collide with our rectangles. Now let's rotate our rectangles. Flixel has an angle variable which will allow them to be rotated. But for our case, because we're using echo, it makes sense to rotate our actual echo body instead of the Flixel sprite. Now you can see our red circle rolls down our rectangular shapes. The collision isn't quite perfect though. It looks like our circle is hovering above the rectangles. We can inspect echo bodies by going into the Flixel debugger and pressing the echo icon. You can see that our shape has a rectangular collision shape, which isn't ideal. And that's what seems to make it hover. Let's go ahead and change that in the code. Now we've added a shape of a circle to our sprite and given it a radius of 42, which is half of 84. If we go back to our game, you'll see the circle is much closer to our rectangles. If we inspect the body, we can now see that our circle has more of a circular collision shape around it. Let's now experiment with some of Echo's body options. Let's give our circle an elasticity of one. The higher the elasticity, the more a body will bounce when it collides with another shape. Now, if we look at our circle, it bounces when it hits our second rectangle. We can adjust this to make it 0.5 to give it half the amount of bounce that it had before when it hits the second rectangle. We can also adjust the mass of our sprite, which will make it move slowly down the rectangle. I highly encourage you to look at the Echo API and experiment with some of the body options. As you guessed, we've only just scratched the surface of what we can do with Echo and Hacks Flixel. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll talk about a few more things we can do with this physics library.